Hey, how you doing? This is Paul with Logix Magazine. Today we're going to talk about the cartridge valve circuit. Pretty cool little circuit. I want to share with you how they worked and some particulars about them. We're going to really break down this circuit so you can see it in action and understand um, when you look at the hydraulic print, what's actually happening. I think that's really important. All right. So I found a great animation of a cartridge valve online that, that I wanted to share with you. So it's really got three parts, the sleeve, the spring, and the nozzle at the point here. So you'll see that show up here in just a minute. And then the ports open from the sides. And then depending on how the what how far the adjustment is for this this cone right here depends on how much oil is permitted to go through the valve. So that's pretty much how that valve works. So I thought it was a great animation I wanted to share with you. Uh, now what I want to do is take a look at the um, actual valve, uh, the cartridge valve circuit in action. So let's put this thing in simulation. Let's go ahead. Uh, we had it in simulation. Let's go ahead and, and watch this in action. Okay, so now our cylinder is going. We can take a look at our fluid. All right, red's being as under pressure. Okay, and now we're extending. We're pushing it back out. So I'm going to stop this, pause it. Okay, I'm going to take a few minutes and break this down just a little bit for you. Okay. So what we have here is we have our pump right here, okay? So our pump's pumping up the, the fluid in. It's coming down and it's coming over here to our cartridge valve and then going down, right? All right, so. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now it's actually making a curve here and then coming down this way, all right? So that's that's line one, if we want to put it, call it. That's one direction, one one direction. Now, let's look at what else is going here. We have hydraulic fluid going here, and it's actually making a turn right here as well. Let me change that color because that's going to get confusing. All right, let's go uh, green. All right, so it's going down here, okay, making a turn and then coming down here and then going just like this that's one path all right we also notice that um if i can get this thing to work we also notice that we have a parallel circuit right here oh let's erase that a parallel circuit coming down and making a turn going up towards our our uh, three position valve here and then crossing over and then back down and then coming here and going over there all right through this restriction and then down through the cartridge valve and down to the actuated the cylinder so that's the that's another path that's being taken all right let's clear that out okay so now we have those two paths so we got one path path one and we have path two all right now what i want to do is i want to talk to you about something that a lot gets a lot of people confused and it did me when i first started this line right here so it's coming down but i told you it's going this way but you're like paul it's it's heading to the left as well. Well, what what you what's happening here is it's going there only because there's no 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 valve or anything to stop it from going there. But it's not going into this cartridge valve and coming down. All right, it's actually being stopped at the cartridge valve right here and is not permitted to go in. All right, so that's very important. This is being stopped right here so when you see this then you'll know that that when this is this is energized it is not going in here and then coming down and then these you would have fluid going up and you'd have fluid going down that won't work all right so it's a very important point that i wanted to make now let's talk about the 
the evacuation of the oil. Okay, so it's going up here and it's going here and it's going here through this um, restriction over and then it's also going in and coming over. It's joining that that path to go to the front end. So that's what's happening there. Okay, that's what's happening. So um, a, a common question is when this re, when this shifts and the oils go in the opposite direction, does it go back through the the cartridge valve uh, and and create a a pressure situation when they're fighting against each other and that is not what happens all right so um well, let's take a look at this again let's go ahead and actuate this so we can watch this a little bit more all right and all right all right so we're actuating our cylinder and it's retracting okay now as it's going forward we're pushing fluid out of the out of the extension of the cylinder here it now a point that I did not make and let me stop it well let's let it run a little bit further because there's a point I wanted to make here on the extension side that often gets misunderstood okay so again like like this like the 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 fluid that was although the circuit's a little different here now that was being stopped here okay it's actually also being stopped here so this fluid's coming here but but excuse me i take that back it's being stopped right here it's not going up you can see that it's very clear. It's the red is not going up through the cartridge. Okay, it's being stopped right here. That cartridge valve is closed all the way. Now, what we do have is oil coming from the pump down through this cartridge valve down and back in here. Okay, and again we have oil coming out and stopping here we have oil coming out here right recirculating back to the circuit when we look at this valve here this this pump here excuse me we have oil coming through here coming up this way back down over here and back into the the extend side so you can see what's going on it looks rather confusing at first and that's why I really kind of want to walk you through this and have you see it in action because it's it's really the only way to get a true sense of what's happening here so let's go ahead and watch this for a few seconds we'll stop it here and there so we can analyze the circuit now we've obviously we've shifted right here and we're feeding our fluid in here right for our extension all right well, looks like we stopped our circuit for some reason okay <clears throat> now we're back pushing oil out but not through the top, through this cartridge. Now as we, you know what, let's, let's see if we can't slow this, this circuit down just a little bit so we can study it a little better. Let's go with, five bar, okay. We'll slow this down so you can see what's going on. I think it's really important for you to get a decent understanding of the circuit if you're ever expected to um, troubleshoot it. And it's one of the issues. This is one of the circuits that gave me some trouble when I very first started uh, in the controls field. So let's get this back in motion. We'll take a look at it again.
Okay. There we go. So now we're pushing that out here and then it's recirculating here. Okay. And we're now extending or retracting, excuse me, retracting. Or, you know, to that point, let me, let me make a point. I worked on a machine that had, um, it was stated that it was a little, a little stated differently as it, the normal thought is that the cylinder in this condition now would be extended and as it's going back, it would be retracted. When in fact, it, the situation um, was we were actually pushing and pulling a part of a machine. And uh, as we, as as this cylinder was moving to the direction that it's moving, we referred to that as retracting. And as it was being pulled back into the, 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 um, cylinder uh wall cavity that it was actually uh extending so and the reason was it was a pulling and extending a part of the machine so it was kind of an interesting discussion that we had about what was extending and what was retracting uh, but i lost on that one because it was referred it was based off of what it was doing to the machine anyhow just a side note so i just wanted you to kind of see what was going on here in this circuit notice we're in our position three here now we're in position one we are ex we are retracting and now we're re ex extending i hope what i'm sharing with you is valuable it was crucial for me when i first started in the controls field working on hydraulic systems again let's take a look at this it stops right here it does go uh, through here and gets recirculated okay we come up here and there's our circuit it's also in parallel circuit here and feeding this cartridge valve as well all right so you're gonna know you're gonna have two to extend and two to retract and that's very important when you're looking at the hydraulic um, schematic on a on a valve a cartridge valve circuit it's very important that you can identify that and that you understand the two to extend two to retract very important uh, that you understand that when looking at this circuit all right so we just built a small electrical control circuit over here um, we'll go ahead and cycle this just a little bit more and then we'll we'll call it all right so there's our our switches our Limit switches there, our valves, our three position um, direction, our control valve, right? And, that, and then our, our pump over here, we have some, some restrict, restricting ports there. Our tanks are right here, reservoirs, and that's pretty much the whole circuit, all right? So we can go ahead and stop it. Stop the stop stop it. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Basically, how a cartridge valve looks, the three parts to a cartridge valve, how it's used to control the fluid. Um, again, let's see if I can pull that up and take a look at this one more time. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble with YouTube for doing this. But I think it's a great video from Related Fluid Power. So it's got the the shell, like the sleeve, the spring, and then the the uh, little poppet right down here. It's got a little cone to it. And as you increase or decrease, so what happens is, if you'll notice at the beginning of this, this right here is a thumb uh, thumb adjustment. So you can turn it turn it to the right or turn it to the left, and that opens or closes this part, this valve. This little poppet, adjust that little poppet right there um, and opens or closes this right here. So the oil will come from, the oil will come from, let's start this up. Oh, we didn't get what we wanted. 
So the oil will come from stop it right here from the sides. You'll notice let's back it up right here. These are entrance ports for the oil. They'll go in here and they will go in there through these through these uh, grooves and then into this cavity and then this this little poppet right here this little cone will move up and down depending on the finger adjustment and let fluid flow out right here okay so that's pretty much how those cartridge valves work and I think it's a great video that, to show us how that works and when we look at the circuit we look at the circuit um, let's take this and erase that and take that away we look at our our simulated circuit we notice that we have two to feed and two to two to extend two to retract all right so I hope this has been helpful for you. So until next time, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. You guys keep programming, keep learning, keep growing. If you have any questions, let me know.